the college football world is uh, shaken up again. Kansas State, they looked good. <laughs> um, you knew they'd lose, though. You knew they would. I didn't think they'd lose to Baylor. I thought they would lose. I knew that they would not be number one. West Virginia scored 70 points on Baylor, and all of a sudden Baylor's defense made can- So that guy can't win the Heisman. Klein can't win the Heisman. Colin Klein. Do you know the story of Colin Klein? No. What's he, he, would, he thought that he was going to marry this Kansas State basketball player, but then he went back on his word and is now dating another girl and said that he won't kiss her until they're getting married. Is that right? That's a shame. I'm disappointed in that story. Uh, Colin Klein, go ahead and kiss her. Make out with your girlfriend. Yeah. Let's be honest. Have sex with your girlfriend. It's okay. Let's be honest. You're, gro- you're, you're grown up. You're, you're in college. Have sex with your girlfriend. Jared just turned to me. The, the camera's me. He goes, let's be honest. He's having <laughs> sex. You're, you're, a, you're a grown ass man. And, and, and here's who, you know who wants to have sex? Your girlfriend wants to have sex. College kids. Yeah. So he's not going to win the Heisman. So <laughs> what JR say? Okay, JR moment number two. Sorry. He goes, let's be honest. <laughs> you do it. You do it. He goes, let's be honest. Well, if he's not to... fucking her, someone else is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Can God. Can we just give him a mic? Like Mike, him and Michael Schur, like the peanut guy. Yeah, right. they should. I'd like to do that. So Oregon loses and Kansas State loses. Oregon loses on a crazy call and then an inability, their inability to make a field goal. So once again, college football in, will, for a couple of days, pretend that this is very exciting, when in reality, they're going to make a totally random decision as to which teams play for the national championship. Well, if Alabama beats Georgia in the SEC title game, then Alabama will play Notre Dame. Why? Why, why, why does Alabama get to go and not Oregon? Why does Alabama get to go and not Oregon? Yes, and the mere Look, fact that you it, can't it, answer it quickly is no, the answer. No, it's a totally fair argument. I yeah, get it. Yeah. That's un- unfortunately the protocol we so, have in the BCS in 2012. The only way that the BCS ever works, or you can make an argument for it, is I'm that, not making an no, argument for it. One can make an argument is if two teams go undefeated, two real teams go undefeated. But now, why? because Oregon lost later on a rainy night to Stanford, that is somehow acceptable. Then Alabama losing at home to Texas A&M. Uh, ooh, what the, a week before, that makes a difference? It's ridiculous. I presume what will happen now also is that uh, USC will beat Notre Dame. No like way. I, the way things, no, no, the way no, things work no. in the world, that's what'll happen. No, the way things work in the world is that Notre Dame will crush USC. Is that right? Yeah, because JR, what's the name, the name of the. You're bringing up the wrong world. We're talking about the world where Kansas State gets their ass whooped by Baylor, <laughs> and then Oregon loses like they, like they did to Notre Stanford. Dame is not going to lose at USC. I to bet a you, backup quarterback. I, I bet you would have said that um, Oregon's not going to lose to Stanford, and you also would have said maybe if Kansas State loses, then I can get their ass whooped by Baylor. I'm going to pull those things made sense. I'm going to pull a Ben. I'll bet you $500. That you're, USC does not win. You're not. I, I'm. I think. I think USC is gonna get their ass whooped too. But you're not. Yeah. You're not. You're not in this conversation. You're refusing to participate right in the conversation. I'm right here. We're talking about a world. I'm actually where, in the circle. Yeah, but you're not listening. Okay. So oh. the point is, no. Oh. I'm, I'm not trying oh. to oh. give nice. right. something. I'm just saying, <laughs> we're talking about a world where. The BCS keeps getting shaken up, but Alabama or LSU keep getting put to the top for no fucking reason. So in this world, USC, who has no has no right scoring two points on on Notre Dame if they win, which this is the world we're living in, they're going to win like 30 to, to 10, and people are going, what the fuck happened? Yeah. Just like we said all weekend. So in this world, then what do you do? It's the constant reason that it's a bad system, and everyone agrees that you agree with that. I mean, no, I, no, I, I totally It's not just a bad system, it's an embarrassing system. It's a silly, <laughs> nonsensical system that we're now going to have, once again, two SEC teams play, two one-loss SEC teams, somehow valued higher over other one loss And we're going to have another 9-6 to six national championship game, and we're going to go, oh, look at the defense! <laughs> right, totally, let's look at the defense. I don't know, I'm not sure that if SC gets those offense going, once again, Notre Dame can keep up, because we don't know, because Max Wittick, will be starting a quarterback. They say he has a better arm than... Uh, yeah, Barkley. right. I, yeah, I've heard that. Too. But here's the thing. It's USC. It doesn't matter when you're getting hit. Yeah, it, do, it doesn't. <laughs> it's a USC quarterback. <laughs> Matt Diteo is coming after your ass on Saturday. Should that guy win the high... Well, first of all, you get... It's a USC quarterback. He's good. He got recruited to go to USC, and he could have gone anywhere, and he went You know there. who else got recruited to go to USC? Who's that? Matt Castle. Diteo. Matt Castle. And so did Matt Diteo. Matt Castle's a starting Matt quarterback Castle. in the NFL. The Matt worst Castle, one. Matt Castle would shred... Notre Dame. Matt Castle will be 17 to 24 for 259 yards, two touchdowns and a pick against Notre Dame. <laughs>
<laughs> like you'd have a really solid, like you'd have his best game of the year against Notre Dame. <laughs> so uh, should uh, Mante Tayo win the uh, uh, Heisman now? No, out of pure, pure disdain for mm -hmm. Notre Dame. No. Do you think he should win, JR? Um, yeah, out of pure disdain for it automatically going to the quarterback of the best team. I agree. I agree. That's and, why I think he should win. And considering we don't know who the best team is anymore because the way this college football season totally. is going. Right. Right. Yeah, totally. hell yeah. He deserves I, I agree. it. He wait, wait. You know who should win the Heisman? Who? Geno Smith. <laughs> right, who's back. Bring him back. Yeah. Dr. Bus. Then you have Genie Bus, who's balling yeah. Phil. Like that, okay? And then you have Jimmy Bus. And Jimmy Bus, I, people call him Mini Bus, yeah. but I call him Short Bus because everything he makes is friggin' stupid.